Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Tired of pushy recruiters sending you LinkedIn requests for jobs you have no interest in? Tired of blasting out resumes into the dark? If so, you should check out Hired.com. Hired.com flips job searching on its head by having top employers like Facebook come to you after you fill out one simple application. You also get your own job coach to help you on your next job search. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you at least fill out the application. Just go to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer. And when you get hired with Hired, you'll get double the normal sign-on bonus bonus for using that link. Today I'm going to answer a question that a lot of you have been asking for a long time that you want me to do an answer on that I hate to do these kind of answers because I hate to give like a real technical opinion on things because things are going to change and I'd rather give profound wisdom that lasts through the ages but I will do it. I will indulge you for now and I will talk about Kotlin. Kotlin. I'm going to say it both ways so that whichever way I say it that so, someone's going to be offended, but Kotlin, the new language, not necessarily new language, but the new language that Google has embraced for Android. I've got a lot of questions on this, and you know, Kotlin or Java, what is the future of Android development? So this question is from Kevin, and he says, hi John, I'm Kevin. I got my bachelor's degree in software engineering last year, and I'm trying to master mobile development. I heard that Google is now trying to promote their brand new language, uh, Kotlin, Kotlin, I don't know, give me the pronunciation, as a de facto standard for Android development. This confuses me a lot. Does it mean that Java is on its way to the trash as far as Android is concerned? Should experienced Android developers start learning Kotlin and prepare to drop Java? Yours sincerely, Kevin. So a couple of things here. Let's look at iOS right now, right? Let's look at Swift versus Objective-C. Objective-C is definitely still out there. Apple's still supporting Objective-C. They're pushing Swift, okay? You know, similar thing has happened there. There's plenty of Objective-C developers out there. There's plenty of iOS apps that are out there that are written in Objective-C that will be continue, continue to be maintained in Objective-C. Every time I talk to an iOS developer and I say, oh, hey, are you just working in Swift? They're like, yeah, I'd like to work in Swift. And I do some stuff in Swift, but I do a lot more Objective-C development. That's what they, they tell me, right? And I've talked to a lot of, of iOS developers. Now, maybe that's not the case for you if you just came into iOS development and you just started on Swift, but in, in a lot of cases, that's, that's, that's true. Heck, I did a video on COBOL. Check out the video on COBOL, and there's a lot of people still using COBOL. And there's some people that actually replied to that video and are like, John, you're an idiot. COBOL is only going to grow. <laughs> And, and they might be right, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm about both. Maybe I'm an idiot and maybe COBOL is still going to grow. I, I tend to think it's going to die off, but who knows? It might, it might take a long, long time before it does die off, okay? With that said, if I were an Android developer today, I would be going full speed on Kotlin. And by the way, it's not Google's language. Google's like adopted it, but I believe that, is it Atlassian that, that created it? Or no, no, no. The... The company that does, does that IDE, uh, is it JetBrains? I, I don't know. I, I can't remember now, but I, I'll have to look it up. I, I'm obviously not at a computer right now, so <laughs> I'm out here enjoying the, the beautiful sun in San Diego. So here's the thing. I would, it, it does appear that Google is doing the same thing that Apple did, which is to push this language that I think is going to be better for development. And, and from Everything I can gather, Kotlin seems like a really good language for Android development. It, it's, I've, I haven't spent a lot of time using it, but I've played around with it. And it's, there's a nice interactive tutorial online. Like it's, it seems like they've made it really easy to, to use. And there's some frustrations in doing jo Android development in Java that, that I've discovered that it seems like uh, Kotlin has addressed. So I like that. Uh, but you got to look at, you know, I mean, Google is definitely controlling the Android space. and if they're pushing this, there's probably a good reason. It, it, it probably makes sense, and just with all the hype I've seen and all the people that like Kotlin, it's it's a good bet. I, I, I don't think it's gonna die off, I don't think it's a bad bet, but at the same time, like I said, if you're a Java developer and you're like, oh, I gotta switch to Kotlin, that's not true. Like, you're gonna be able to do Android development in Java, my prediction is, at least for the next five years, right? I, I don't think that's going away anytime soon. There's too much 
written out there, too much code out there already. I mean, it might last for the next 20 years, who knows, but there's too much out there already that's written in Java for you to think that it's just going to go away. So I wouldn't worry about it, but, you know, I, but I wouldn't be afraid of going into, into Kotlin either. And if I were starting out, I would just start out with, with Kotlin for, for the Android development. So yeah, so, so think about it and see where you're at. And maybe you learn some Kotlin and maybe you, you, if you like it, you, you go that direction if you're already a Java developer. But I don't freak out here. I don't panic. I don't say, oh crap, my world's coming to an end and I have to learn Kotlin. I mean, if it happens and you do have to learn Kotlin, Remember this also, right, because I've done a lot of mobile development. I've done iOS and Android development and Windows Phone development. And the big thing with mobile development is not the language, it's the platform, it's the frameworks, right? So if you understand how the, the components and the views and the fragments and all that stuff works in Android, it doesn't matter what language you're programming in, right? That's the, the key thing is, is that. The same thing with iOS, right? When I did iOS development, because and I've done it multi-platform, right? I've done Android, iOS, and Windows Phone development. Uh, I've done it in Java. I've done Objective-C. I've done a little bit of Swift. I've done used Titanium to do it with JavaScript. I've used Xamarin with C Sharp, right? And the biggest thing has always been the platform, is understanding the underlying platform and the framework itself rather than the language. You know, although Objective-C is, is definitely the most difficult language I've had to deal with, and I don't wish that harm upon anyone. My hat is off to you iOS developers that are still doing Objective-C. All right. That's all I got to say about that. If you like this video, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button below and click the bell for, go for goodness sakes so you don't miss a video. YouTube is screwing with me and they, they don't show you all the videos that come out. I do about one video, well, okay, I do about two videos a day. So I will spam you with a bunch of videos, but it'll be worth it, I promise. You can always unsubscribe. Talk to you later.